Yo, what's up, people? Once again, it's your boy P. Ross back in the building. Mic check one, two, one, two. Mic check one, two, one, two. And right now, what I'm gonna be talking about is uh, this William L. 1985 piece. Okay, um, I did a review on this about a year ago, year and a half ago, or something like that. But if you want to go back and look at that, you can. But I'm just gonna talk about it right now because. I took it out of the box and I was kind of looking at it and I'm looking at the dial like you know this is a dope ass watch and they are calling this their vintage style chronograph you know what I mean um originally it came on a NATO strap but I have since put it on this silicone strap which I think is very dapper and great you know what I mean? So let's get into a little something, something about this piece. It is a rose gold stainless steel case and it came with a blue and red NATO strap. And again, I replaced it with this red rubber strap. Has a white dial with luminous rose gold tone hands, uh, hour markers, minute markers. Um, comes with the telemeter. And just to break down just what the telemeter does, the telemeter chronograph is a feature of a wristwatch which allows the user to approximately measure the distance to an event that can be both seen and heard, lightning bolt or torpedo, using the speed of sound. It also has a tachymeter around the bezel um, which can be used to compute a speed based on travel time or measure the distance based on speed. The date display is between the four and five o'clock positions. The chronograph has two sub dials displaying 60 seconds and 60 minutes. The movement is a Miyota caliber 6S21 quartz movement. And no, it is not a sapphire crystal. It is a scratch resistant mineral crystal with a solid case back, case size being 40 millimeters, case thickness is 10 millimeters. The water resistance is coming in at a whopping 50 meters. And again, that's okay, I guess, uh, for this type of piece. Because one, again, as I state in every video when I talk about water resistance, I don't plan on getting in the pool, a river, ocean, or pond, no way with any of my watches. So therefore, we are good. The most I'll ever get caught getting wet will be in the rain with a watch on. So that's it okay so what do i think about this piece um i really love the vintage style you know that is coming in especially with the telometer and all that you know what i mean i saw a uh a vintage long jeans that looked similar to this you know and i can see where the inspiration came from for it um although the crystal is not a sapphire crystal it is a mineral crystal with anti-reflective coating okay and you can also get this on what they're calling a brown buffalo strap off of their website and i also see on their website that they have several different straps that you can actually choose from i believe um and they actually look pretty nice they look pretty nice me personally i prefer the nato or this rubber strap that i have it on right now and right now this piece on the william l 1985 website it's going for about 175 bucks. And that's actually with the brown buffalo leather strap. But because I'm Pete Ross and I'm into affordable pieces, I got y'all. If y'all want to purchase this piece, you could go to Joma Shop right now and you could actually get this piece for $62.99. 70% off. Yo, and before we get out of here, I'm gonna let y'all check out the loom on this piece. It's pretty decent loom. You know what I'm saying? It works. You know, for those low lit situations. All right. You know, so let's get into it. This your boy Pete Ross. We striving to get to a thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Ross Wristwatch Love. And we in the building. Peace.